Robert. Robert, I think I'm going to do a bit of a musical intro for the for my review. Um, oh, baby, do you know what it's worth? Oh, Avon is a place on earth. They say in Avon, love comes first. We meet Avon, a game on PS4. Oh, Avon is a game on PS4. Avon is a place on earth, and it is a place on earth. Uh, well, it's a disc that you can place into your PS4 drive, which is located on earth. The game itself, however, takes place very much off earth on the Avon colony, situated in the, um, situated in, well, it doesn't really matter where it's situated, is it? It's space. It's basically space. You don't need directions for space. It's been out for two years, uh, the game, uh, not space. The space is infinite. Uh, it's been out for a long time, space, a long, long time. But I just heard about the game recently, so that's why you're having to hear about it now. Having said that, there was new content for it on the PS4 dropped in December, so that's only like five months ago, which makes it a new game, so stop complaining, basically. Anyway, you need to colonize a planet, balance the food, health, happiness, freedom, and law in order to survive. And looking at it, and it looks great, doesn't it? And you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, it does look great, but it also looks a bit familiar. Well, you will find it familiar if you are familiar with the cult classic Utopia. I mean, have a look for yourself. Have a look at this. It, uh, uh, right. No, th this is uh, this is Channel 4's uh, dystopian drama, Utopia. Uh, let, try, try again. Here we go. Nah. Nah, that's... That's... Todd Rundgren's uh, 1974 uh, Utopia. Uh, I've always loved this. Uh, try, come on, try again. Here we go. There you go. Yes, mate. Utopia on the Amiga. The creation of a nation. One of the greatest games of all time. Check out that soundtrack, man. Yes. One of the greatest games ever created. And even is basically exactly the same. Give or take seven generations of graphical advancement. And it was this immediate oh that looks exactly like a modern version of utopia that i am sure team 17 were, were going for and i'm delighted with that it's got all the same strategy elements that you want from your your city builder it's got interest in landscape farming mining research options excellent interface with a logical control panel and fast buttons and, uh, and if you played this game before December, you've probably missed out on some important upgrades like extra buildings, you've got your extra skyscrapers there, other exhibition centres that allow you to create more sub-colonies that feed into your ever-growing mother colony. Uh, interesting side note, mother colony would make a brilliant name for a prog rock band or a hipster, vegan-friendly, honey-based ale brewery stroke coffee hub. The only thing I feel could do with fleshing out would be the connection to the colonists. In Utopia, you had your council of advisors, which in some way helped to humanise the inhabitants of Utopia. Rather ironically, because they were aliens, but it did help to humanise those in inhabitants. And even other strategy games like Civilization, you know, you've got your advisors and enemies, and they all help add a bit of character connection. But even attempts to do this with audio clips of really long dialogue with no Vizog attached to them. And for a moment I thought, oh, this could be good. You know, it's like listening to the radio or whatever. Uh, except that like, the radio's talking at you a little bit, but also ignoring you. And you, and you get to imagine for yourself what these two um, residents having an argument are like, or these two scientists, what they look like while they're having a work-based fallout stroke flirt. Bas basically, there's a lot of arguments going on, basically. But the way I like to play these games is to ride the time fader and pause things and get everything in order and then whiz on through time when I'm ready. But when you freeze the fader, the dialogue freezes too, so you end up, you know, letting it run. You end up listening to rambling conversations just in case any of it happens to be important, which it really is. Uh, and in the meantime, your power generators run out of fuel and there's a virus that's uh, a plague virus has entered through your air vent. You know, you know that way, mate. You know that way when that happens. You know what that's like. Look. That aside, this game is a, is a success. Although, if Team 17 are going to copy and update a game, then they should absolutely attempt 
to copy and update the incredible soundtrack to get that Amiga Utopia music back on me. Yes! Check the slap bass, man. Take that, Team 17. Bow, bow, bow.